name is Catherine, and this is my daughter, Karen. Hi. My name is Xavier. I really didn't know anything about autism. When I was 14, I started getting into tobacco, smoking, marijuana, alcohol. It got so bad to the point where my parents started calling rehabs. It was really just jumping from house to house. I would always, like, butt heads with the... Um, the foster parents. Xavier was very violent, putting holes in the wall, breaking windows. We were at a loss of what to do. The spectrum of Down syndrome is very broad. My daughter's higher functioning than some, and I'm so grateful for that. And I'm very conscious about giving her as much as I can. <laughs> helped with so much um, of his, his care, his understanding of the world. He's happier, he's getting stronger because he's less aggressive. Honestly, I don't know where my family would be without Jensen Center. I am glad that I found Mike, cause you know, I am adopted now. So like now I actually have a home. I feel good knowing that Karen has those friends at Jensen Center and that they treat her in such a way that she enjoys going there. I'm creeping up on my three years clean here. I can't even really put it into words or describe what it feels like to be free. Hi. I'm really excited to show this to you guys. I'm excited to see it. It's beautiful. She always does this with me. It speaks to me in a way that says, let go of my past and the woman left behind and forgive her. That hug looks so genuine. Like you can feel that hug looking at it. I think it captures Judson Center's care. I really just wanted to show that they are a light at the end of the tunnel. I remember you said, he loves giving hugs, and that line just stuck with me. This piece captures Judson Center's reunification process, how everyone has a hand in the journey. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Oh, wow. It's, it's so beautiful. Pleasure.